Milet Pérez Betancourt, and I was born and raised in the beautiful island of Puerto Rico in a town in the north coast named Carolina. Um, no siblings, but amazing parents who are there in the top picture, and a cat who is the head of the house. No <laughs> and as part of my passions, apart from research, I do like um, things related to art and also traveling. So in 2007, I moved three hours away from home to start my bachelor's degree in theoretical physics at the University of Puerto Rico at Mayaguez. And I completed the bachelor's degree last uh, June with a curricular sequence in atmospheric science and meteorology, which is currently the, higher, the highest degree um, offered in Puerto Rico in that field. So my interest in tropical cyclone research and atmospheric science inspired me to apply um, to grad school in, uh, for a program in that field. So I um, was accepted into the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and um, uh, just started this last August. So as part of the activities and achievements that took me from my undergraduate degree to uh, grad school, um, I was really involved with the American Meteorological Society student chapter at UPRM. Um, I was a historian for my last two years as an undergrad, and I was also part of the Significant Opportunities in Atmospheric Research and Science program, um, internship, summer internship program. And I was really involved with AMS, I was an AMS scholar, and that led me to my current position as a session chair for the AMS student conference. And I'm also part of other um, societies and uh, have uh, been part of agencies in um, earth system science. So all that um, really helped me develop my leadership skills and get um, contacts and a lot of networking that uh, allowed me to uh, achieve uh, my current position as a grad student. So um, my first research experience was in 2009. I did a summer research on tropical cyclogenesis. As I said, I'm really interested in tropical cyclones. And it was at the University of Miami at Rasmus. And after that, the SOURCE program sponsored my um, two subsequent internships, uh, which I also did in tropical cyclone research, the first one in hurricane eye formation, and the second one in the rapid intensification of hurricanes. So I took that interest in tropical cyclones, and now I'm uh, doing my, starting my research in tropical cyclone spider rainbows, specifically in trying to understand the propagation mechanism of these uh, features of the tropical cyclones. So, um, for my career goals, it all starts with uh, trying to better the understanding of tropical cyclones and directly aligned to that is um, my intention to complete a PhD at MIT in atmospheric science and I hope that takes me to uh, helping improve the track and intensity forecast hill and also aligned to that is uh, my intention to work at a research facility and ultimately my goal is to better the hurricane preparedness so um, as part of that I want to perform community outreach as I have um, in my undergraduate career so um, and also I want to foster research in underrepresented communities such as uh, my home island of Puerto Rico and one thing that not many people know is that back in the 40s um, there was an institute of tropical meteorology at the University of Puerto Rico where, um, who's considered the father of tropical meteorology, performed research himself. And that lasted for like three years, but I think that if, pe if people in the past saw a potential in the island for tropical cycle research, mm -hmm. it's not a pipe dream to envision that in our future. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. Thank you.